Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating an employee record, you can later return to the Pay Info tab in the Maintain Employees and Sales Reps window to enter information about job performance evaluations and raise history. To do this, select Maintain Employees slash Sales Reps from the menu bar, and then select the name of the employee for whom to enter this information from the Employee ID field in the Maintain Employees and Sales Reps window. Then click the Pay Info tab in this window. To enter job performance review information, click the Performance Reviews button below the Pay List on the Pay Info tab. In the Performance Reviews window that opens, enter the date of the review, the name of the reviewer, and any detailed notes or attached files by entering that information into the Date, Rating, Reviewer, Notes, and Attachments columns. You can enter the employee's next performance review date from the Next Review Date drop-down menu. To add an attachment to a performance review row, click the Add hyperlink under the Attachments column to open the Attachments dialog box. Then click the Add button to open an open dialog box that lets you browse for and then select a document to associate with the review. Then click the Open button in this dialog box to add the document reference to the Attachments dialog box. Repeat this process to add multiple documents if needed. When finished, click the OK button in the Attachments dialog box to add the attachments to the review row. The text then shown in the row reads View slash Edit under the Attachments column. After entering performance review information, click the Save button at the bottom of the Performance Reviews dialog box to save the data and close the window. To record Pay Raise History information, Click the Raise History button below the Pay List on the Pay Info tab to open the Raise History window. Enter the date of the raise into the Raise Date column. Enter the pay type that was increased by selecting one from the Applicable Rate drop-down field. Enter the Base Amount for the selected pay type into the Base Amount field. Then enter the Amount of the Raise into the Raise Amount field. The Raise Percentage and New Amount fields will calculate automatically. Double check them to ensure that they are correct. To add a note about the raise, click the Note button to the right of the row and then enter the note into the Notes window that appears. Click the OK button in the Notes window after entering the note if needed. Then click the OK button in the Raise History window to save the pay raise information. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.